Welcome to Political Echo. Your guide through today's political news and geopolitics. Migrant caravan approaches U.S. border for midterms, Trump makes them regret it. It looks like the left might be up to their old tricks to win the midterms with 1,300 migrants coming from South America, timing their arrival at the United States' southern border right around the elections. Liberal-leaning media will then plaster the news with the recycled old photos of kids in cages, claiming the GOP is at fault. Well, the president just made them totally regret it. The Democrats know they have no message that will compel Americans to vote for them. They can't compete with the roaring economy, so all they have left is identity politics, open borders, eliminating ICE, immigration and customs enforcement, and the migrants, who will soon be illegal aliens if they make it into the United States. You've heard the whole kids in cages being ripped out of their parents' arms nonsense. Many of the useful idiots were outraged as they bought that entire false narrative. Now, a new caravan is back on the road, and it appears the left is hoping it will ramp up the hate for the GOP. Fox News reports, hundreds of Honduran migrants are headed for the United States border, just days after Vice President Pence sat down with the Central American country's leader, urging him to take a tougher stance on mass migrations. At least 1,300 people, including young children, left San Pedro Sula in northern Honduras on Saturday, in what some are calling the March of the Migrant, according to Reuters. And, guess what? Timing is everything in politics, and this caravan will reach the U.S. border around the first week of November if they are not stopped. LifeSuit reports, Andrew R. Arthur, a former immigration law judge who now is the resident fellow in law and policy at the Center for Immigration Studies, CIS question the timing of the latest endeavor. He asked if it is tied to the midterm elections in the United States, which now are three weeks away. I really don't know, Arthur said. The timing seems a little curious, they may just be taking advantage of the law. Rick Oberlink, executive director of Californians for Population Stabilization, CAPS, agreed. I wouldn't be surprised if it had something to do with the U.S. midterm elections, he said. It's a clear case of asylum shopping. Of course, this migrant caravan is perfectly timed to sway the midterms. And, we all know who's rumored to fund these migrant caravans. Well, President Donald Trump isn't playing this dangerous game. Since the caravan started in Honduras, Trump is putting the squeeze on their president, as only Trump can do. He tweeted, The United States has strongly informed the president of Honduras that if the large caravan of people heading to the U.S. is not stopped and brought back to Honduras, no more money or aid will be given to Honduras, effective immediately. The president also dispelled this myth that Trump is a big, bad, monster who's keeping kids in cages and tearing families apart, tweeting, op-ed praises Trump administration's efforts at the border. At Fox News The Washington Examiner states, finally, the government has taken steps to stop releasing unaccompanied minors to criminals and traffickers. This was done by the Obama administration. Money talks, as President Trump knows well. It's the one universal language that he knows all these despots can agree on. While the brainwashed left remains in the dark on the attempted destruction of their own country, Trump knows the Democrats sold their soul to the devil. Now, as president, Trump is strongly warning them to stop using migrants as their political pawns. Thank God for our president. Now, don't let him down, we all must vote red on November 6, just 21 days from now.